and the boutique video with me, Katie, professional makeup artist, stylist, and founder of online boutique, beautyalaboutique.com. And today, I am joined by Tammy, who is my sister. And Tammy is a professional life coach specializing in NLP. Tam, over to you, what is NLP? Okay, NLP, uh, in a nutshell, it stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming. Neuro is our brain, linguistic means language, and programming means the way in which we do things. Oh, do you know what? This is so perfect for today because I wanted to ask you about how we, me and my friends at home, can me be more positive and happy. I think, um, per personally speaking, I think I'm, I'm, I'm quite even killed. However, I do know of people that just seem really happy and positive all the time. And I'm like, yeah, I want a piece of what they've got. Those people who appear to be like that all the time, mm. all day, every day, they work at it. It doesn't just come, it's not something that they were perhaps just, I mean, some people are more optimistic than others, but they definitely take a conscious effort to work at seeing that their glass is half full rather than half empty. Mm. So a really cool NLP tip that I can share with you is to learn the art of reframing. And reframing allows us to find the silver lining in something. So I'll give you an example. The other day I was at the post office and I'd queued and queued. I'd waited for about 15 minutes. I finally got my spot and the cashier shut the, the thing oh, down. Okay. I think it was their lunch break or something. And I did feel annoyed by it. I felt frustrated. So then I had to sort of rejoin another queue to queue up again. If I was to reframe that and, and look at that at that time, I thought, well, do you know what? In that 15 minutes that I queued, I, I did quite a lot of people watching and I did quite a lot of collecting my thoughts. Mm. And I actually was thinking about silly things like what I'm going to cook for dinner. And then that made me think, oh, I need to go to that shop afterwards. So it wasn't really lost time. Yeah. It was time that I used without knowing. It was quite productive time. So to reframe it, the next time I'm in a queue, I'm going to see what I can do with that time whilst I'm queuing so that I can be more productive. So essentially what you're saying is when you have a potential niggle in your day that could make you feel negative, you're, you're saying, you know what, take a breath and, and seek out the silver lining in that, in that action. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's find, it. find the magic in the niggle. Like, yes, is there yeah. a magic? Is, you know, so for example, um, uh, being being on hold for like half an hour when you're trying to get through to a call centre. Mm. For example, how would we find the magic in that? Is it that, oh, well, in that time I put it put the phone on loudspeaker and I was able to unload the dishwasher and, and catch up with a bit of, you know, I don't know, housework or whatever yeah like brilliant have done. yeah not that that's very exciting but I guess it it makes it yeah it makes that niggle or that bit of negativity kind of work for your life yeah way. definitely Would that's it absolutely and that, that's what we do and, and the more you reframe the more mm. free, you know it, it takes a bit of practice but that's what we're yeah. saying you know these people who yeah. do seem happy all the time they practice things like this regularly so is there something that we could do like ourselves as a little challenge yeah definitely I mean I would say you know if, if you're watching this video today give yourself a week so give yourself seven days mm -hmm. and just adopt some of the principles that we're talking about and start looking for the silver lining and things and just see how you go with it see yeah. if it changes the, the outcome of yeah, your I'm week excited to try that thanks yeah. Tam thank you I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope you've taken something from this video and I'll see you soon in another video thanks Tam thank you bye, bye.